welcome guys once again so in la last lecture we have seen for loop okay how for loop works we have seen increment and decrement operator right so in this lecture we'll see for each loop okay we'll see what is for each loop and how it works so let's go to the real time only okay so this is for loop okay so i'll just leave that so i'll just get one, one, one more class okay called you know for each for each that's all so i need to write one main method where we'll write for each loop perfect so now we'll try using for each loop so i'll write for and here we have something called for each loop okay for each i'll enter by default it has given you know a string string argument right what is this we will try to understand okay so this is again you know data type or you can say that which kind of data you are passing here okay this is variable you can give any name and this is argument which we need to iterate or which we want to you know repeat or loop okay so mainly this for each loop will go for array concept okay so mainly if we have array array of a string array of integer then we should go for it's very easy for you know uh, for each loop okay so we'll show you so suppose i'll take one integer array or a string array okay i'll take one string this is string and this is symbol is array and this is you know just reference variable okay i can keep this a is a reference variable equal to i'll take an array okay array means it will hold multiple value like this okay so since i have taken you know a string array so i have to hold a string only sorry so a string i'll take pankaj again string double quote i can hold ranjan string double quote i can hold amit i can hold uh, double quote i can hold anand okay etc so i can hold uh, anything like whatever we can see here okay so now here this what i want to iterate is this is string data type okay means whatever class type or data type whatever we have given so this is the as of now this will be treated as you know a string data so i am holding this so I'm, i have to write data type so it is string okay so here it is a string is a class but here it will treated as a data type i'll assume okay then this is a reference variable we can give anything okay i can give anything no problem at all this argument means nothing but which you want to iterate so i want to iterate a so this a i want to iterate okay so here four value is there i want to iterate one by one so i'll write simple you know ref so what will happen here so in ref it will check whether the this in this a value is there or not if value is there it will give first value next time again it will go and check if value is there give me next value it will go till we have empty okay last value so it will print and it will print same pankaj ranjan amit anand pankaj ranjan amit anand right so it will print one by one all this is how for each loop works okay now i can hold a different data type also so as of now i have explained you know integer and you know, a string and now let's see i'll try one more data type okay i'll try one more data type which is you know integer let's try with integer so mainly what i told is for each loop is mainly for array okay mainly if we have to deal with array array of string or array of integer it's better to go for for each loop okay so now i'll write one two three four five six seven eight whatever you want okay that's six that's all so now in this for each loop what you have to do is so which kind of data you want to iterate so this is integer so i'll write here int reference variable you can keep anything no problem at all so what you want to iterate so you want to iterate b this time right so you have to give your b okay that's all now if i print this so first this is also printing after that i'll get this all one by one one two three four five six so let's see perfect so i'm getting all the value one by one so this is how you know this you know uh four and for each loop will work okay so this is very basic okay which i have explained in upcoming lecture anyhow we'll see what is array okay how to iterate array how to find duplicate these are all just program which you can go through so anyhow we are going to see you know entire you know array what are the different types of array 
single dimensional array multi multi dimensional array what is the string what is the string array okay mainly we are going to see so no need to worry about this okay so that's all about for and for each loop so see you in the next thank you for watching